Hi there. Let's talk today about using grammar and using relative clauses in your grammar. So for a start, let's think about these two things. So we've got, if we want to talk about Queenstown, which is a town in New Zealand, and we want to combine that with the idea of a mountainous area, we could use a relative clause. And the way we would do that is by inserting some extra information in the middle of the sentence. So simply we would say it like this for a start. Queenstown is the adventure capital of New Zealand. But then when we want to add this other bit about the mountains, we would insert a bit in the middle, directly after Queenstown. Queenstown, which is surrounded by mountains, is the adventure capital of New Zealand. Now, one common mistake is that students use the word where. So don't use where as a relative pronoun. Never use that, always use which, which is surrounded by mountains. Really, it's like an adjective. So we could say it another way as well. Queenstown is a mountainous, adventurous place. But we want to use this relative clause if there's something more complicated we would like to put in there. Now we can also do the same thing with people. Let's think about Donald Trump and money. So in, a same, in the same way, we could combine it like this. Donald Trump, who is a millionaire, businessman, is the president of the USA. So we've added that extra bit in about the businessman and the millionaire. And sometimes we have what's called a defining relative clause, which is a little bit different. So let's look at this girl here and the clock. And we want to consider this idea. Students who prepare well often receive high grades and exams. Now that's a good example of we, we need all of those words so we put them together there. Donald Trump, we can take away the bits about the money.